Mmm, something smells good. I wonder what Lynn's cooking today. Hey, Lynn, what's cooking? Now here's your host, Lynn Austin. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Hey, Lynn, What's Cooking? And today in the kitchen, it is pumpkin palooza because we are doing everything <laughs> pumpkin. And I have Paula. <laughs> Does I have Paula? Pum and pumpkin Pumpkins. begins with the letter P. <laughs> I mean, that's why I had you in the kitchen I today. Know, I, I know. Well, you know what? We are going to get started with, you know, it is the month of October. And since probably August, we have been hit with pumpkin spice everything known to man. Everything. Yes. And you know what? Sometimes, you know, it's nice to go have somebody prepare a coffee drink for you mm -hmm. or a hot cocoa for you that is it is done and you pay that six dollars and you smile and you say okay it was done for me but of course me being half polish i have to come up with my own so i don't go pay that six dollars every time i love that about you i know I do. <laughs> but it makes you like oh i'm enjoying it more okay to this i have cute little um mason cannon mm -hmm. jars because i don't know if anybody uh -huh. knows me but i really don't use my canning jars to can i'm not a canner I have to say, I know October, you are kind of in the harvesting time of your crops from your garden, but Lynn does not really can. I am not I a don't canner. So, okay. but I use them for other things, and that is to make my little pumpkin cocoa, okay? So, two of these cans, we have our hot water ready in my little tea kettle, and yes, it is hot. Um, we're going to add some, some cocoa to these little jars because you know they won't crack because they are candy jars. Right? You measure. I'm, no, I'm not no. really measuring. Okay. I just kind of do my own thing here. And to that hot cocoa, we're gonna add some canned cappuccino, the coffee oh, and the yes. candy, and you know, any flavor you like. Okay. okay. I'm gonna add, oops, I'm kind of, about two tablespoons of that to the hot cocoa. Okay. And to that, we're going to add some pumpkin pie spice into that mixture, like so. And we're going to save some of that for a little bit later in this drink. And we have our oven going because we are going to be making some biscuits the easy way. And we're going to top those with some melted butter and some cinnamon and sugar. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to make pumpkin butter. Yum. And we're not spending like six dollars on a jar of pumpkin butter. We're gonna do it Lynn's way. <laughs> the <okay>. easy way. <laughs> and once again, if you want to go out and go somewhere that you can buy that, go ahead. But we're not gonna do that today. Because you can make a large batch of it and like think of it as you're sampling and trying to figure this out for the holidays. Right. You can jar that up in the mason jars <laughs> and give that away. So we're gonna add some hot water to this. And it's really hot, as you can see, and it's coming out of my tea kettle. I don't know why. Maybe I have to pour a little bit slower. Oh, can you smell? I can smell mm -hmm. that coffee really in there good. with the cocoa. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, we got to leave some room because we're going to put some fun stuff on top, of course. Okay, I'm going to stir those. Stir this on. Yes, it's going to be hot, so be careful. Yes, mother. Mmm. I love the sound of that. I know. Well, my favorite sounds are... I know. <laughs> <laughs> the wine pouring and the martini shaking, <laughs> but that's a good sound. That's mm -hmm. a comforting sound. That's comfort. like on a cold, crisp fall day. You have that going on. Okay, to this, we're going to add regular coffee that's from your coffee pot from the morning. To that, see how easy that was? And to that, we're gonna add some pumpkin spice creamer. If I can get it open, just a, about a half a teaspoon of that, because we put that pumpkin pie spice in there. And to that, now I didn't say this was low cal, because this is your <laughs> treat, you know. Um, 
caramel macchiato yeah. creamer. And if you don't have that, don't worry about it. But if you know you're gonna make these for the weekend, go out and splurge. Okay, we're gonna stir that together. Now, to mine, of course, I am going to add a little bit of pumpkin pie vodka to that. Now, you won't get that at your little drive through coffee shops, no, but probably. you're at home, you can do whatever you want. Okay, now we're gonna top it off. I crushed some graham crackers, and to that, I mixed in some pumpkin pie spice and cinnamon. Yeah. Mm. Smell that. That's going to go on top. Now wait for it. Now we're going to add, here comes the fun parts. And I get more of that since I didn't yes, have the vodka. Yes, you didn't have the vodka. Okay. Look how pretty that yeah, is. That's lovely. Now to that, we are going to add a little bit of chocolate sauce. Look at that. Ooh, you got to work fast because you're, it's going down. Okay. And a sprinkle of the graham cracker. Oh, look at how pretty. Maybe you should put a drive through at your house. Did I put the vodka in there? Yes, remember. you did. You did. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about the drive through. I was thinking about if I put that vodka in there. by on the way to taking oh, children yes. to school. Yes, and you can because yours is. Driver mine's friendly. Mine's driver friendly, yes. Mine is not. Mine's for the weekend when the kids are not going anywhere. Oh my goodness. Delicious. <laughs> Delicious. Oh yes, yes, yes. Mm. Oh yeah. No, we can't do that. That's good. You can't drink it all. We're, we have to okay, get busy. We have to get busy. Okay. Mm. There is your $6 drink right there. For a fraction of the cost. Love that. Okay, next we're going to move on to, we are going to make that pumpkin butter, like I said, and to that, you're going to dip some biscuits, whatever biscuits you like. It doesn't make a difference if you like whatever, whatever kind of biscuits you like. Mm -hmm. We are going to put these in the pan, if you wouldn't mind just helping no. me here, and we're going to brush them with some butter and then sprinkle them with cinnamon and sugar. And it's just regular old little dinner biscuits. And we're gonna put these in the pan like so. And we got the pop out of the way. We got the, <laughs> that pop always scares me. It's just like the jack in the box. Yes. You never know when it's gonna come. Yep. I'm serious. <laughs> I kind of stand away from the can. It kind of scares me. So we're gonna put these in a round tin like so. And I already Ooh. melted the butter. Oh yeah, that's gonna be yummy. We're gonna lather them up with that butter. <laughs> you know, in the fall, sometimes, you know, it's a little colder outside and you need that comfort food. And I think these biscuits and the pumpkin butter, which it is going to like say, it's gonna awe you. Mm. Pumpkin Can't butter, wait. you know, like apple butter. And like, you know, you go to these little stores and you spend $6 on a jar of this stuff and you're like, really, I'm spending, but oh my gosh, yeah, it's okay. But you're gonna make your own. Cinnamon and sugar in a 400 degree oven or whatever your canned biscuits say, or if you're feeling like you want to do the real deal, make your own biscuits. But if you want to enjoy your little coffee drink, go with the can. Right. Okay. That's going to go in a 400 degree oven. And those are going to do their fun thing there. And now we are going to do, oh, thank you, Paula. Mm -hmm. We're gonna move on to our, our pumpkin butter. I almost so said I apple. Because skin. you know what? Not too many people do pumpkin butter, I don't think. No, I don't think so. I think it's so. all about the apple. So if you wouldn't Eat mind all, these. all the ingredients okay. here. Now, if you're making a large batch, you can always double everything. But we're making just a medium size, I would say, batch. And this gives you a lot of pumpkin butter because you realize you don't put a whole lot of it on your biscuit. So I have one can of pumpkin, pure pumpkin. It's gonna go in this saucepan. You're gonna be like, oh my gosh, this is so easy. Yeah, I'm excited. And you know me about brands, whatever brands, if you're mixing it, go the cheapest way you can go. Because the holidays are coming and you need to send, save, some, mm -hmm. save some pennies. Save some pennies. 
Four dollars. <laughs> okay, so we have all the pumpkin in there, and I'm sorry, Mom, that I'm not scraping everything out of there right now, but we have a lot of things to show you today. So to that, we have a fourth of a cup of brown sugar, fourth of a cup, packed brown sugar. We're going to add to that. Of course you have to add the sweetness. Mm -hmm. Fourth of a cup of wine. Wine, wine. <laughs> We know where your mind is. White <laughs> sugar. And then after that, you have a glass of wine. <laughs> Into that. Oh, that was funny. That was. <laughs> okay, now we have all the fun stuff. We're going to save this. Okay. This lemon juice gets added when we're done cooking this on the stove for about five to six minutes. So that's just, okay. so we're going to save that. Get warm. So we have ginger. Not Marianne, but ginger. <laughs> okay. And the I professor like comes later. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, we have nutmeg. Mm. Love nutmeg. Oh, love nutmeg. We have, what's this one? Cinnamon. Yes, very good. <laughs> <laughs> and we have pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice. No, actually, no. nope, nope, because nope, nope. that's over there for that one. Sorry. Oh, no. Let's see if you can guess. No, it's ground familiar. cloves. Mmm, it's kind of like your own little potpourri in a yeah. pan with your pumpkin puree. And we're going to do a little fun stuff on the stove here for about five to six minutes. And we're going to wait to kind of, we're going to stir it in here. And this is going to start to boil. And Just your sugar the... is going to work down with your pumpkin and your brown sugar. And all the spices are going to have a party in this pan. We're just going to stir it. We're going to leave it alone for a minute and occasionally stir it because it's going to bubble. When it's bubbling, then it's done. So it takes about five minutes, five to six minutes, depending on your stove and how much you're actually making. Like I said, if you're making a whole bunch, then you would want to um, have a bigger pan and if you want to give it away add some more pumpkin and just double everything because look at how much you got that's right here lot. that's a lot so we're just gonna that's probably what two of those small canning jars oh yeah oh my gosh yeah you could give those as gifts that's what i said yeah, easy thinking nice. in october here i like that so we have our biscuits going with the melted butter and the cinnamon and sugar our pumpkin butter is going and next, we are going to make little angel food pumpkin cakes. And then after that, we're going to move on to some, I know, like, I moved to Indiana, and every dinner, special dinner, is deviled eggs. In Chicago, where I grew up, deviled eggs were only served at Easter. We do them for every holiday. Everything. Every get together. Every, every get together. Cookout. So we are going to make pumpkin shaped deviled eggs. So I Sounds thought good. that was cute. Sounds I thought good. that was right up your alley. Mm -hmm. So to this, this is so easy. This is one box of angel food cake. And to that, we need a cup and one fourth cup of water on the directions of the box. And we're going to whip that together. And while that is whipping together, excuse my noise for a few seconds. We're going to go high with that. Oop, 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 oop. Not too high. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Paula. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little crazy. Maybe I shouldn't talk. I won't. I won't talk for a second. We're just gonna let that whip. It smells good. It smells so Angel food cake, done. Not homemade, nice. but that's okay. Now, to that angel food cake, we are going to, let's drop that down for a second. We are going to add one cup of pumpkin, canned pumpkin, and to that, we are going to add a teaspoon, or half a teaspoon, of pumpkin pie spice. Now, I'm telling you, that pumpkin pie spice when you go to the store and you get a good deal on it, get a couple bottles of it. Because yes. we're in October, by November, 
you will be looking for it, and then by December, it'll be gone. It's gone it's completely. Gone. So whenever you see yes. any of that, just get it and stock up on it, trust me. We are gonna mix this together, like so, into the pumpkin. Oh, that smells so good. Would you mind stirring our pumpkin oh, yes, butter that's kind of bubbly? It's just kind of. <laughs> it's good, oh, it's all good, okay. We're just gonna lower oh, that just a little really bit. smells really good. Doesn't that smell good? And it looks like pumpkin butter mm -hmm. already, doesn't it? Does. it? Yep. It's great. This is going to get mixed and then folded into our angel food cake, which was a box cake. Very easy. And if you don't have the cute little, oh, oop, you lowered it too much. You know too what? Much. That is actually good. Okay, I think gonna, that's it good. Looks We're just going to put that on simmer and it'll be good. Okay. Okay. Um, if you don't have the cute little tube pans, if you want to mm -hmm. give me that tube pan. Um, that's a specialty pan. If you don't have it, you can make the little angel food out of cupcakes or little loaf pans. That's fine too. Mm -hmm. But we're going to make cute little pumpkins today and you can do those out of the cupcakes as well if you don't have a little tube pan. But I figured I should just use that because I have it. So, And you know what? I got it at a garage sale. So that's love garage sales. I love garage sales, estate sales. You're looking for those different items. Look at how angel nice. food, like one, two, three. Put that in the sink. My Aunt Betty, she makes her own angel food cake recipe, but I haven't dabbled into a from scratch angel food cake. That's so fluffy. I have just, we're just going to get rid of that. I know. I didn't scrape it, scrape it. And to that, we're going to add our one cup of canned pumpkin and our half a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice to the angel food cake mixture, which was a boxed cake. I love how you come up with these. That was real simple recipes. Easy because mm -hmm. everybody, oops, everyone's so busy. That's right there. Everybody is busy. Busy, busy, busy. We're going to mix that into our pumpkin butter. We have to add that little bit of lemon juice. But this is going to get, oh, smell that. I don't mm -hmm. know what it is about angel food cake. It just smells so light and sweet, and it's almost like Heavenly. cotton candy, but, so but in a lovely. cake. Yum. And then you have the pumpkin and the pumpkin pie spice in there. And remember what I said about that pumpkin pie spice. Mm -hmm. If you're looking for it towards Thanksgiving, you're not gonna find it. That and those pretzels, those square pretzels. Oh, I know. Buy them in October. Yes. yes. <laughs> you will not find them in December little, when nope. you make the Rolo things. You nope. will not find them. Why you were so about that. that's right. I'm, we I should start know. looking. Just, <laughs> now. just get that stuff now. Make a little yes. checklist because that and red and green food coloring. Mm -hmm. That's another mm -hmm. thing. It's like if you don't get that, you need your October shopping list. Right. Okay. That look at that has changed its color from white to a light orange with the spices in there. Okay. And we are going to put some in here, but first I want to add that lemon juice to this pumpkin butter. I told you I was going to kind of be all over the place because I had so many fun things to share with you today. A little bit, maybe about a half a teaspoon of lemon juice into here, like so. Is there a reason you don't warm the lemon it's, juice or it just... No, it just adds to the end. You don't want to really okay. cook it because it just adds a little zing to the pumpkin. Okay. Oh my <laughs> oh my gosh, you can do so many fun things with this pumpkin butter. You can put it on pancakes, you can put it on waffles, you can put it on your toast, you can put it on your bagels, you can put mm -hmm. it on your biscuits, which we have to check our biscuits. Let's see what those are doing. And our pumpkin butter oh, is did you put them done. On the and you wait till this totally cools and then you put it in a container in the refrigerator. They're not quite done. Okay, so that's going to go back on the stove and that's going to cool and we have some done pumpkin butter right here and I just put it in a cute little container but there is the chilled pumpkin butter right there we're gonna let this guy cool on the stove so you made that pumpkin butter 
Uh, people said it's homemade, and yeah, it's homemade. It's homemade. So sure easy, it and look at how light it's like it's. We're going to add this to the stew pan like so. And if, like I said, if you don't have the little mini tube cake pans, just use cupcake pans. And then with angel food, you do not grease. Do not Good add time. any cooking spray or shortening or flouring any pans with angel food cake. I did not know that. Yes. Good to know. Because that will change your outcome of your cake. Because it's light. It doesn't need any oils on there. Add those. And I'm going to show you when we get done filling a couple of these. I have some done ones. And we're going to make them into pumpkins. And like I said, if you made these in a little, with your cupcake liners and just did little cupcakes, um, you can make them into pumpkins as well. Or if you don't want to mess with the whole pumpkin thing and you just want an angel food pumpkin loaf, you can put them in your bread loaves, okay? Or I've got the little mini. Yes, you can cupcake. do the mini. Those would be fun. Okay, so I just wanted to show you that. And that's going to go into a 350 oven. But we're going to do those a little bit later. We can just set these aside, Paula, okay. and I can finish those later. But I wanted to show you the little pumpkin cakes. And what we're going to do, if you remind me, the Tootsie Rolls and the food coloring. See how they came out of the pan? And if it was a cupcake, you can do a cupcake as well for the kids' little parties. And we're going to make some orange frosting. If I do my... And you did this, the homemade frosting. Um, no, I actually did not. <laughs> yes, I did. Yes, yes. Did. Yes, um, I, I did. And I melted it in the, um, in the microwave. <laughs> and we're going to make orange frosting. Hopefully it comes out orange. But it's looking like I put too much red in. So we need what, Paula? A little bit more yellow. Yellow, oh. yellow, yellow. I always think I have the I wrong I think color. I need some more yellow. See, that yellow gets used for making orange frosting. It's getting orange, right? Does that look orange? Maybe orange. a little bit. Orange is Dark red. Dark orange red. <laughs> Go with the yellow. Go ahead. Go with more. <laughs> I put too much the red thing? in there. <laughs> that, maybe yeah, that, yeah, that's that looks orange. orange. That looks orange right there. And what we're going to do is put that on here. Get this closer and frost these little guys, and they're gonna look like little. Now remember, you, this is angel food cake, so you don't want it to go too crazy with the frosting because you're supposed to keep it on the lighter side. Kind of like a. And then a what I took because it's Halloween time and Halloween season, and save those Tootsie Rolls if you want to keep this for November. I put a little stem right in the middle. Cute. With, that does look kind of reddish orange. But you know what? Pumpkins right. come in all different colors. Right. And today, this is going to be a specialty one that we regrew kind of reddish orange. <laughs> there. That looks yummy, doesn't it? Yes. It uh oh, I lost that. That on the side. And the like kids so. can help make those. Oh my gosh, yeah. Well, they kind of look like little apples right now. They do, but that's all right. That's all right. <laughs> But you know which way I was going with yep. this, what color. I just put too much red. you got to watch that red food coloring. Well, they kind of look like pumpkins. Oh, I think they do. Okay. Then we are going to check on our biscuits. Paula, if yes. you wouldn't mind checking on those biscuits, because those biscuits should be yeah, about I done. Yeah, they're about done. We're going to let those cool. And then we're going to move on to our deviled eggs. Oh, look at how easy that was. Oh, my gosh. Mm, Yummers. Good. Okay. There's our little pumpkins. There we go. I'll just put that in my mouth. Okay. All right. 
Devil food, devil food, <laughs> devil food cake. Devil eggs. Devil eggs. Devil eggs. Here we go. The okay. Indian, Indiana way of things. The of Indiana things. way of making devil eggs. Okay. We have a piping bag, but if you don't have that, you can use a little sandwich bag and then cut the snip off the end of it. Right. Okay. So we decided that we were going to cut these, which don't look at my eggs because you can tell I don't make them that often. <laughs> Paula laughs. I had to laugh. But it's October and they it's look okay. kind of creepy, so it looks good. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to get these centers out of here and put yeah, them in here? Yeah, them in there. Yeah. Do you want to do that? Sure. And I'll cut. Probably can just a smaller one. So, what are you going to add to your... I'm going to add some mayonnaise, mustard, and barbecue sauce. Ooh, that sounds good. And you can mix it up. Sometimes I do honey mustard. Ooh. Yummers. And like I said, we have them at every yeah, gathering I, you could I have possibly no, I have noticed of. that, and that's why your eggs wouldn't turn out this way, and my, <laughs> the way I peeled them isn't to Paula's liking, <laughs> but it's all right. hey, at least I cooked them. Right. Oh, minus a shell. There you go. Okay. So we're going to mix these, and we're going to pipe them in, and then we're going to add a little bit of paprika to the top of that with a stem that is a chive. Where are my oh, chives? the chives are right over there. Okay. Okay. Oh gosh, it smells so good in here. Mm -hmm. There's so many different smells going. Oh, those, I think they look orange now, don't you? Oh Even yeah, they I lost do. one of my stems. Yes, they do. Okay. So. Sorry. No, well, you're fine. So we got that I going on. Put out so you don't tear the egg up. You have to use a spoon or? Well, no, you, you don't know. have to. Just use that. Okay. It Why don't we do a little perfect. bit right now and do a couple yep. and then we can Let's just go. mash. Oh, can I mash them? I, yes. I like Go that. for it. Okay. I like to mash. You can really add some more while you're doing that. Okay. Look at how easy that was with a potato masher. That's good. So, mashed enough? Yep, yep, yep. yep. Okay. There we and go. Now we're adding real mayonnaise, correct? Mayonnaise, yep. All right. Real mayonnaise and a little bit of mustard. I kind of just, I do not measure. I okay. just pour it in and taste it. A little bit of mustard. So real mayonnaise, mustard, and a tiny and bit of barbecue, some barbecue sauce. barbecue sauce, and we're just going to mix it. We're going to mix that together. Yep. Oh, yeah. Might be the right consistency. Too. I think it is. Let me move that out of the way so you all can see. We're going to put this in your piping bag or your sandwich bag that has a little bit snipped off of the bag. Put that down there and, and they're fun. Fun to make. Like See, they're so fun. Oh, why wouldn't perfect. you want to take them, make them more often? You know what? I don't know why. <laughs> I don't. This might make it. Uh oh, I got to. Oh, there we go. Oh, how pretty. Oh, it's clogging on the end, but that happens. That's okay. That's okay. It's probably off. a thicker piece. <laughs> it's probably a thicker piece that we smash. didn't mash. But you get the idea. It's just one of those little kitchen bloopers. Yep. But that's all right. And we're going to add a little bit. Yeah. Paprika. Paprika to the top. And there is your little Fun. pumpkin deviled egg. I'm going to have to do this and have my next family gathering. Yes. One more. So we made our pumpkin cocos and our cinnamon sugar biscuits along with our homemade pumpkin butter that <clears throat> you can dip those in mm -hmm. and little angel food pumpkin cakes awesome with our little pumpkin double eggs. eggs so i think we've about yep. pumpkined it out don't you think the biscuits are done 
They smell wonderful. Look at how easy that is. And then would you like to, oh my gosh. Oh. Sample that into the pumpkin butter. And then I am going to do a toast to my friend Paula and all the pumpkin love and fun out there that you could possibly have this October. Yes. Enjoy, be creative, and just have fun. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A little there toast. Mm -hmm. Thank you for tuning in to Halen What's Cooking. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Mmm.